All right, guys, here's the video on wiring up the BMS board. Uh, there was a couple different ways that I could do this, and I was really thinking about this all morning on how I want to do this. Um, I don't want to use this um, as a main power hub. I want to go around this and just use this as a balanced charging. That's pretty much it, because I just don't know what this thing is going to be able to handle. I don't want it to overheat and break and things like that. And, um, as I'm trying to, you know, go up a hill or something like that. This, this uh, motor and controller is gonna use a lot of power and uh, I just don't want this to be the bottleneck. So I'm gonna go around this and like I said, just use it only as a balance charger. So that way it stays nice and cool. It'll last for a long time and I don't have to worry about it overheating and, and popping you know, a 45 amp fuse that this thing's rated at. So, um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wire this guy up. Right, guys um, hopefully this works I'm just trial by error I guess uh, trying to see um, I wanted to leave these exposed due to the heat exchange I wanted to get these to cool off you know a lot quicker than being covered up in this this heat shrink um, and then I just opened up the channel for the uh, balancing leads that I'm basically gonna you know, clip into here um, now is what I'm looking at doing is actually mounting it here uh, like this, I gotta trim off some of this extra here. Um, and then soldering the end here to there, and hopefully uh, that'll be good, and then that way I can wrap the entire thing um, and everything will be nice and uh, covered up. So, all right guys, what I did was, I didn't like this exposed area right here that was gonna be sitting out here. So what I did is I had an old heat sink from an old computer. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Um, basically just kind of place it inside there to kind of give a gap and also some protection uh, from the output transistors from something just coming in and touching them or shorting out or whatever um, so yeah I think this will work pretty good actually and it's nice and secure in there and it gives it some some air in there to breathe so if they get warm they'll have some that he will have somewhere to go
battery where this is the main positive and I didn't have the fuses on uh, before and I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. What I did is I found this wire here. I believe it's 14 gauge. Hopefully it's thick enough um, to make up the end of the battery and I've got all the fuses basically attached to this wire. Uh, the balancing lead is going to attach over here. Um, the charging and the controller wiring is going to attach right here. So that uh, I'm going to actually put a gauge wire from here to the controller and to the hub. So that, that should be enough, I would hope. Um, but yep. Now I'm going to move on towards the, the BMS. <laughs> test it. Just under 48 because I discharged everything. It hasn't been fully charged up yet, but it looks like it's good to go. Um, hopefully it doesn't smoke and hopefully it works. So, all right, here it is uh, completed. Uh, only thing I have left is uh, soldering on the positive leads, and that's pretty much it. So I've got all the balancing wires put in, um, all of the fuses, the resettable fuses. Uh, these will actually open up if they get too hot from a short or overcurrent, and this thing is ready to go. Um, test it. Um, now all I do is cover it. <laughs> <laughs> 